Thank you so much. Can you guys help me give a warm Hoover Public Library welcome to Safari Gray? Thank you very much. Woo, what a crowd. Are we ready to have some fun? Yeah. Now wait a second. With this big crowd, is that the best you can do? I said, who's ready to have fun? Yeah. Well, it's good to see everybody. Hey, quick show of hands. Who has seen me before? Raise your hands. Okay, hands down. Who has never seen me before? Raise your hands. Hands down. Who doesn't care if they ever see me? Raise your hands. Hey, put those hands down. I see those hands. Well, listen, we're going to have a lot of fun, but we do have a few rules. Number one rule, make sure we sit flat on our bottoms. That way the people behind uh, around you can see. And the number two rule, and this is the most important rule, no talking while I'm talking. You see, if we start talking, your neighbors won't be able to hear, and we may have to leave something out. So we got a deal? Yeah. Deal, all right. How many of you guys like to watch Animal Planet? Who likes Animal Planet? Raise your hands. What about the Croc Files? We like the Croc Files? Jeff Corwin? Zaboomafu? Hey, how about magic tricks? Anybody like magic tricks? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Hands down. We're going to show you a lot of cool animals. Might even teach you a magic trick. But I've got to have a magic word. Who knows a magic word? Uh, what's your magic word? Right here. What's your magic word? Um, um's not a magic word. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, what's your magic word? Have a banana. What'd you say? <laughs> Oh, abracadabra, okay. Oh, what's your magic word? Oh, please, it's a good one. How about you? What's your magic word? Um, that's what she said. Alakazam. Well, I'll tell you what, Safari Greg's got a special magic word. Safari Greg's magic word is boogity, boogity, boogity. All right, so here's what I want you to do. On the count of three, say the magic word boogity, boogity, boogity. Here we go. One, two, three. That's good, that's good, but we better add something to it. I want you to put your fingers in front of you. Wiggle your fingers real big and say the magic word. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Awesome. Now, boys and girls, this summer's reading theme is called Make a Splash Read. And that means that the summer reading theme has something to do with water. So I brought some special animals that live in the water. Well, some of them do, but you're gonna be a little disappointed. There's one animal I didn't bring. You know what I didn't bring? I didn't bring a green anaconda, okay? They're, they're big snakes, they live in the water, they're scary, they're mink. Guys, I don't want you to even say anaconda, okay? I'm scared of anacondas. Don't even say the word, okay? No, hey, hey, no, no, oh, 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 okay, all right. See, see, that, that tears me up, guys. Don't say anaconda, but I'll tell you what, before we show you any of these animals, who wants to see something really cool? Do you want to see something really cool? Yeah. yeah. It's down. Who wants to see the magic flower I got from the rainforest? Do you want to see this? Yeah. Man, it's awesome. It's green, it's red, it's all kinds of great. Okay, who snatched my flower? Sir, you look like a flower snatcher to me. Uh -huh. Well, I'll tell you what. Remember I said it's a magic flower, so let's do this. I'll set it down back here. If you see it grow during the show, all I want you to do is say, Hey, Safari Greg! Can y'all practice that real quick? Everybody say, hey, Safari Greg, go ahead. Cool, let's get started with the show. Now, the first thing oh, oh, is it there? Oh, this is awesome. I can't believe it. Now, wait a sec, guys. Look, it's not nice to tease Safari Greg. So All right, where do you see the flower? Okay, okay. So if I turn around real quick, I'll see it, right? Okay, hold on. Oh, what the flower back there? Wait a second. Now look guys, we have got to get started with the show, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna try this one more time. If it's not there, you're in big trouble. Are you ready? Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. The magic word, let's try this. I'll cover it with a cloth. On the count of three, you say the magic word. So we're gonna see just how well you pay attention and how well you listen. When I say three, what do you say? All right, here we go. On the count of three. Are you ready? One, B, sit. Whoa, whoa, that's not it. Hey, how does it go? Okay, okay, I've got it. Here we go. On the count of three. One, Tuesday. What? How does it go? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hey, can I practice that real quick? Okay, hold on, let me practice. Hold on. How's it go? Okay, 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 that's good. All right, I think I've got it. Here we go. On the count of three. One, February. Who knows how to count? 
hanging out out there. You can count. What's your name? What's your name? Olivia, do me a favor. Stand up, Olivia. Olivia's going to count to three. When she says three, everybody say the magic word. Go ahead, Olivia. One, two, three. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Hey, do you think it worked? Let's see if it works. Oh, man, it didn't work. There's not a flower. No! Whoa, well, give yourselves. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Olivia, do you think it smells good? Hey, let's see if it smells good. Hold on. No! No! Oh, I'm so well, who's ready to start the show? Are we ready to start the show? Yeah! All right. Everybody, hands your lap, back straight, listeners on. Catch a bubble in your mouth, go. Very good. Now, boys and girls, today I have brought a special animal that I have never used in a show before. I mean, I think it's ready to be used. It's dangerous. It might be a little scary. That's why I'm going to ask you if you want to see it. Who wants to know? Who wants to see a baby cobra? All right. All right. Okay. Now, hold on. Hold on. Now, boys and girls, just because it's a cobra and just because it's a baby doesn't mean it's not dangerous, okay? So I need you to be very quiet and very still. Now, the reason I need you to be quiet is so that I can concentrate. And the reason I need you to be still is this. Snakes see movement, okay? They don't see things that sit still very well. You start making a lot of movement, they might feel threatened, they might feel like they're in danger. What will they do? They might strike or bite, that's right. You also want to make sure, like for example, if I'm handling a snake, don't do like I do. Don't ever pick a wild snake up by the tail because you pick a wild snake up by the tail, they can still reach around and do what? Bite you, that's right. That's why you've got to make sure you're safe and use the right equipment. For example, if I use an, uh, or am handling an animal that uh, bites or scratches, what would I wear on my hands? Gloves. I might need cages or bags to transport them in. In the case of some animals like this cobra, I might need tools like these. Now, these are called snake tongs. Has anybody ever seen some of these like this? Yeah, okay. Ma'am, do you know how to use snake tongs? Okay, not like that. Okay, that's not how they work, okay? Here's how they work. Now, they're long so that they put distance between yourself and the snake so you won't get bit. Now, if you see a snake on the ground and you want to catch him, you take the tongs, you slide him gently under its neck, close those tongs. Once the snake's caught, you can grab him, you can put him in a bag, you can do whatever you want to with him. But you know what else these are good for? Get noses! We get noses! Yeah. Get noses. Now, are you sure you want to see this cobra? Yeah. Right. Now, I've got him inside the box here. Everybody be real quiet. Let me see if I can get him out real quick. Okay, he's done pretty good when I've had him out in the past, but we've never had him with a program, so let's see how he does here. Okay. Actually, it looks like he might be asleep, so let's do this. I'm going to try and do this with my hands. Now, I want to reach in real gently behind his head and pick him up. You've got to move slowly. Now, if he's asleep, it, you know, he won't see me moving. Whoa! Okay, hold on. He's not asleep. Let's use these. Let's use these. All right, let's see if we can get him to move so I can catch him here. Okay, there he is. I'm going to ease him inside. Close these tongs. And if we've got him, I've got him, I've got him coming. All right, there he is. Okay. Ma'am, you about came out of the floor there, didn't you? <laughs> what are you guys laughing at? Well, you didn't think I was really bringing a cobra out, did you? Hey, but you know what? I know you have all seen an Alabama rope snake, hadn't you? No, no, I'm serious. He just looks like a piece of rope, but that's just his camouflage. He's a real snake. He can do tricks. You want to see him do a trick? Who wants to see him do a trick? Raise your hands. All right, let me get him. Hold on, hold on, let me get him. Hold on. Oh, hold on. All right, I've got him, I've got him, I've got him. Okay, all right. All right, now boys and girls, tell him to say. Play dead. Okay, maybe a little louder. Oh, 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 look, watch, 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 look at that, look. Did y'all see him lay down? That's where you All right, sir, you're not buying this. Hey, he listens to everything I say. Watch this. Everybody tell him to say, play dead. Play dead. Oh, no, 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 just say, stay. Stay. Sir, he'll stay for hours. Just watch it. <laughs> y'all aren't buying any of this, are you? Well, tell you what, you're absolutely right, guys. It's just a piece of string of rope, but if we use our imaginations, we can turn it into a snake, but I need somebody to help me out. But I never pick anybody that raises their hands. I need somebody sitting nice and quiet, hands in their lap, back straight, listeners on. Let me get a show of hands again. Who has seen me before? Raise your hands. If you've seen me before, okay, hands down. Who has never seen me before? Raise your hands. Okay. I need somebody that looks just like, let's see here. Oh, lots of good choices. I need a young lady. Uh, let's see here. Um, 
Come on down here. Give her a round of applause. Sit her down here. All right. And step over here if you don't mind. Watch out, guys. Don't want to get your fingers or toes stepped on there. There you go. There's some stairs over there. All right. Come on up here. How are you doing today? Good. Stand right over here for me. And what is your name? Sage. Sage. Are you serious? That was my name when I was a little girl. Yeah. All right. Sage, it's nice to meet you. How old are you, Sage? You're nine years old. So what grade are you in? Oh, so, so you're going into fifth, or you're gonna, so you're gonna be in fifth. Hey, fifth grade's awesome, man. It was like the best three years of my life. I love it. Hey, have you got any pets at home? Okay, what have you got? Whoa, so you're not scared of animals then, right? Because here's what I want you to do, Sage. Stand right here, hold your hands out in front of you just like this. Now, Sage, you've got a very important job, okay? When they clap their hands one time in just a minute, that's the signal that that rope's gonna turn into a snake, a real snake, You've got to make sure it doesn't, you know, try and bite you, maybe, okay? So hold it away from your face. You don't want to... Hey, Sage, do you, do you want me to put it in something so it doesn't crawl on your arm? That, that, that's okay. Here, here. We'll put it in a bowl. Now, Sage, you've got to show the bowl empty. So go like this. Go. Go ahead. Let's go to the... Booty X. Come on. There you go. All right. Now, on the count of three, everybody clap your hands up. Yeah, hold it away from your face. You don't want it to strike, okay? Do you want me to cover it up so it doesn't jump out? Okay. Okay, that's all right. Here. Just with your face like this, Sage. No, don't do that. Give me that thing. All right. That was that. Is that better? Cool. Hold on. On the count of three, clap your hands one time. Here we go. One, two, three. Did you feel anything happen? Nothing? Let's see how you did. Sage, we got a problem. There's nothing in there. Look. You made that rope give her a round of applause. She made the rope disappear. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not supposed to make it disappear. Let's start over. Let me get a piece of rope. You just hold on to that for me. And what? No, seriously, Sage, just go ahead and hold on to that point. No! Sage, what are you doing, girl? Look at that. Give her a round of applause. Very cool. Now, this is a real snap. You're almost tying yourself up in a knot there, Snowflake. Sage, hold your hands out in front of you. Have you ever held a snake before? Yeah, so you're not scared of them, right? Please do have okay. Hold your hands out. There we go. Turn around just like this. And give her a round of applause. Hey, good job. Hey, wait. Now, this isn't a dangerous snake at all. It's not a cobra. This is called a corn snake. Everybody say corn snake. Corn snake! Well, used to, well, she used to have corn snakes, so she knows all about it. Now, boys and girls, corn snakes are often called the farmer's friend. Why do you suppose we would call a corn snake the farmer's friend? Let's see here. How about. Yes, sir, what do you think? Okay, now, hold on, guys. Now, if you're talking while I'm talking, use your best manners. I'm going to pick people who raise their hands. Yes, sir. Why would we call a corn snake the farmer's friend? The young man in the cap there, you had your hand up. Yes. Because the farmers grow corn and they eat the rats and mice that eat the corn. That's exactly right. Give him a round of applause. They eat the rats and mice that eat the corn. Now, let me ask you a question, Sage. Do they take bites of their food like we do? Do they? That's right, they swallow it whole, don't they? And the reason they can't take bites of their food is because they don't have hands to hold on to their food to take those bites. So they'll swallow it whole. Now, boys and girls, a snake can swallow something two to three times the size of its neck. So if a snake's neck is this big, that means they can swallow something this I mean, if their neck's this big, they can swallow something this big. That means if you were a snake, you could take a basketball, put it in your mouth, and go, oh! Well, everybody act like you've got a basketball in your hands. Let's put it in their mouth, go, ah! Now swallow it, go, oh! Would that look funny going down your throat? Well, that's what a snake looks like when it swallows a mouse. It looks like it's got a little golf ball going down its throat. Oh, well, well, hold on a second. Don't stick your tongue out at us. Hey, Sage, why is he sticking his tongue out? That's right, he's sensing the air and he's smelling. You see, they don't have noses like we do, so they smell with their tongue. But you might not have known this, Sage, but there's actually two reasons they stick their tongue out. Number one, that's how they smell. Number two, Snowflake usually does that before she bites. No, they don't. They don't. You didn't even do that. Well, give her a big round of applause. Everybody say, see you later, Snowflake. All right. Who's ready for another animal? You want to see another animal? Yeah. Right. Who wants to see one of my favorites? You want to see one of my favorites? Yeah. All right. Now, this is actually called a corn snake, and its name is Snowflake. Now, Snowflake is out. What? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You see this one. You see it? Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Ooh, how about my pet frog? You want to see my pet frog? Yeah. All right. Now, generally, my pet frog stays back in this basket back here. Are you sure you want to see it? Yeah. All 
Alright, we're gonna get her out, see if she's ready to do something for you. Set. Okay, wait a sec. Okay, she's not in there right now, but we'll get back to her in just a minute. Would you rather see something else right now? Who would you say? Huh? Oh yeah, there's gonna be a frog in the basket in just a minute, but right now. What? what? No, 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 the snowflake's in the box over there. The frog usually stays in the basket. What are you guys screaming at? What? No, there's nothing in there. Okay, anyway, what we're gonna do is in just a minute. What do you got? Uh, we'll get back to that in a minute. Right now, I need someone to help me out. I need someone who's gonna help me out with one of my most highly trained animals. And I need this young lady right here on the very end. Come on down here, give her a round of applause. All right, come on down here. Huh, sorry, we're making you move a lot, aren't we? Yeah, that's okay. How are you doing today? You doing good? Good, that's okay. Watch your fingers, guys. She is going to help me out with one of my animals. Yeah, come on over here. Very good, stand right over here for me. And what is your name? K Kendall? Are you serious? That was my middle name when I was a little girl. Yeah! All right, Kendall. Stand over here for me, baby. Stand right over here. Now, Kendall, how old are you? You're seven. Now, have you got any pets at home? No, what have you got? No, I got two dogs. Oh, so you're not scared of animals at all, are you? Because here's what's going to happen. On the count of three, when they clap their hands, that's the signal for one of my animals to come out. You've got to make sure he doesn't get away. Can you do it, Kendall? All right, we need something to put it in. Oh, here, we'll use this bucket. Now, on the count of three, boys and girls, you're going to clap your hands one time. That animal's going to come out. It's going to jump inside the bucket. Kendall's going to make sure that it doesn't get away. Do you think she can do it, guys? Yeah! All right, Kendall. Here's what I want you to do. Sit right here on the front of the bucket. Go ahead and sit right there. No, it's okay. Just sit right there. It's okay. It's all right, baby. Just, yeah, just sit right down there. Don't fall in the bucket, though. All right, there you go. All right, baby. Okay. Now, Kendall. When they clap their hands, that animal's gonna jump in the bucket. You've gotta make sure it doesn't get away. So if you feel something bite you on the bottom, don't move, okay? There we go, count three. One, two, three. Hey, oh, did it already jump in there? Let's see how you did. Oh, look at that, Kendall, your very own baby. <laughs> you laid an egg, Kendall. <laughs> hey, now wait a second. Now, Kendall, there's a lot of different animals lay eggs. Hey, birds lay eggs. What about frogs? Do they lay eggs? Sure. Hey, what about fish? Do fish lay eggs? Yeah. Sure, sure they do. Do reptiles lay eggs? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about insects? Do they lay eggs? Yeah. Oh, what about mammals? Do they lay eggs? Yeah. Oh, now, wait a second. There are two mammals that lay eggs. What's one of those mammals? Who knows? Raise your hand for me. No, right here. Yes, sir. I'm uh, sorry? Big one? Actually, I tell you what, there's another mammal I'm thinking about. You you were actually going to say safari, Greg. It was a platypus, weren't you? Just say yes. Yeah. That, you better say yes. That's right. Everybody say platypus. Yeah. Give a round of but you know what, Kendall? This looks like a bird egg. I mean, well, actually, it looks like a snake egg. You want to hatch it? Have you ever hatched an egg before? Well, come on over here. Come on over here. Now, the first thing you ought to do is say bye to your baby. Say bye-bye. Okay. We're going to put it in the bucket like this. Oh, we better close the bottom up or it'll come right out, won't it? There we go. All right, put it in just like that. Now sit down on that bucket. Hey, go ahead, sit. it's okay, sit down on the bucket. <laughs> You're a little nervous, aren't you? Now, here's what's gonna happen. You've got to act like the snake's mom, okay? So I want you to move your body like this. Everybody move your bodies like a snake. Move back and forth. I want you to start sticking your tongues out and hissing like a snake. Okay, on the count of three, I want you to give me a great big hiss, okay, ma'am? Not a kiss. I saw that. You're funny. That's a great big kiss. Here we go. One, two, three. All right, now, Kendall, did you feel anything happen? You did? This is better than I thought it was. Hold on, let me look. Okay, hold on. Oh, Kendall, come here. Take a look in here. How many eggs are in there? What about right there? There's two. You laid another one, Kendall. Oh, man. I need a young man to help me out with this. Let's see here. How about right there in the blue cap? Come on down here, give him a round of applause. Awesome, dude. All right, come on down here. You'll hop up on stage there. If you'll stand right over here for me. And what is your name, sir? Dylan. Dylan. Give me some knuckles there, Dylan. Hey, you know Kendall? Well, say hi to her, shake her hand. That's what you do on stage. But anyway, what, well, none of that lovey dovey stuff, Dylan. Get back here. All right. Now, Dylan, have you ever had snake before? No, here's what I want you to do. Sit down on that bucket. Now, in order to hatch an egg, it needs to stay warm. It's called incubation. Everybody say incubation. incubation. And through the 
process of incubation, egg stays warm. If it stays warm for a long enough period of time, the animal develops and hatches from the egg. So what you've got to do is you've got to make that egg warm, okay? So, Kendall, step back here for me just a minute, a little bit. You're going to kind of help him out. What I want you to do is I want you to move your body like a snake, okay? Move your body like a snake. Now you've got to create some heat. So we need some friction. So I want you to shake that booty back and forth. Okay. Shake those booties back and forth. Give me a great big hiss on three. One, two, three. Oh, oh okay, okay. Did you feel anything happen? Not even a little gas? Right, well stand up. Stand right over here for me. You stand right over there for me. Here we go. If this worked out right, they get their very own baby snakes right here. Yeah, stand back over here so everybody can see. All right. Their very own baby snake. Do y'all hear that? That wasn't a snake, guys. It was a duck egg. Look at that. Baby duck egg. Not one duck, but two ducks. There's one. There's two. Awesome. All right. Now these are real ducks. But this stuff got to be real quiet because we don't want to scare them. Don't want to scare them. Now, somebody said, well, they're not quacking like a duck. Well, that's because they're babies and they had not have their quackers installed yet, okay? But what they're going to do is as they get older, they'll start quacking instead of, uh, instead of chirping. Now these are called mallards. Everybody say mallard. And a mallard is a breed of duck. Now, right now, because they're young and they're just uh, babies, they aren't uh, developed into the colors that they will be as adults. Now, these two are actually males. And uh, does anybody know what a male duck is called? Raise your hand if you think you know what a male duck is called. Uh, let's see here. Uh, wait, a uh, boy, that's one word we call it. That's right. Let's see here. In the very back of the blue shirt, what, do you, what is a male duck called? A drake. A drake. Oh, give him a round of applause. That's exactly right. A drake. Everybody say drake. And they're drakes. Now, a mallard duck, when he's full grown and it develops into his regular feathers and colors, guess what? They're not going to be white like some ducks. They're not going to be yellow. They're actually going to have an iridescent or bright green head, and they're going to have some blue feathers on their wings. So they're going to be very pretty. As a matter of fact, boys and girls, in the bird world, who has the brightest colored feathers? The males or the females? The males. The males are usually going to have the brighter uh, colors. Now, what do you think they like to eat? Do they like pizza? No. Oh, hey, if you like pizza, raise your hands. Hands down. Who likes ice cream? Raise your hands. Hands down. Who likes candy? Raise your hands. Hands down. Who likes Cokes? Raise your hands. Hands down. Who thinks we're bad? Raise your hands. I knew it was you, dude. I saw you raise your hand up. Do you stink real bad? No, he said no way. Actually, guys, they'll eat any small... I know, guys. I know. I hear you. Actually, they'll eat any insects they can catch. They also like to eat different plants and vegetation. Now, in looking at them, it looks like they've got fur instead of feathers. As a matter of fact, let me do, do something real quick. Let me put one of them up. And uh, let's see here. Dylan, come on back here for just a second. I want you to take a lid off this box right there. Okay, yeah, right there. The one with alligator in it. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead and look that up. All right, there we go. All right. Step back up here for me, Dylan. All right. Thank you, sir. Go ahead and step back up here. Let me see if I've got a treat for us. No, it doesn't look like I've got any food. Now, anyway, these little guys, I, I know. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, there we go. They look like they've got fur, but that's not fur. That's actually called down, and it's a type of feather. Everybody say down. down. And that, uh, that's a real uh, soft, warm feather, and it keeps them warm and soft and dry from the weather uh, until they get older. Now, let's see here. They've got webbed feet. If you'll notice, they've got, it looks like they've got flippers on their feet, and that just webbing. Hey, has anybody here ever had a duck for a pet? Anybody ever had one? Moms, dads, kids? A few of you had, okay. Let's see here. Um, sir, I'm going to ask you a question. What do you think they would not like about a duck? What's one thing they might not like about it? They bite. They, they do. They, they may bite. They make a lot of noise. But boys and girls, do you know what the worst thing is about a duck? They, they poop. They poop. You're exactly right. They don't potty train. I mean, they're liable to let go. Of Everybody say, quack, quack. quack. There we go. All right. Hey, did they do a good job up here? Yeah. They did a great job. Awesome job. Hey, as a matter of fact, you two 
two were awesome. Y'all work together as a team. Did you know I'm never one to break up a good team? So I'm going to do something special for you. You want me to do something special for you? Awesome. All right. You see, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, by the powers invested in me by the state of Alabama, I now pronounce them man and wife. Oh! Give her up, boss. Okay, 
Now, I want you to take careful aim. I want you to pop that balloon with that with that pee. Don't shoot me. All right? There we go. On the count of three, I'm going to hide like this. I want everybody to start singing the ABC song. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Okay. One, two, three. Stand right here for me. You're going to get your very own balloon. <laughs> you know, it was a snake, didn't you? All right, hey, you know what a balloon is, don't you? You've seen these? You blow them up, you make things out of them. Balloon, right? Okay, balloon, right, guys? Okay, I'm oh, sorry? Oh, well, see, guys, I can't say balloon, so I have to say balloon. It's a speech problem with God. Anyway, I didn't just say balloon, I said balloon. Go home. All right. Now, in a real loud voice, tell us your favorite color. Real loud so everybody can hear. Blue, green, green. It's amazing. Can you hear your voice out there? Hey, hold on, guys. Everybody catch a bubble? I'm asking Brady here. Brady, real loud, tell everybody what color you like. Blue. A pretty pink one. That is so. Oh, we don't have a. Oh, how about a blue one? Would you rather have a blue one? All right, cool. Now, the first thing we got to do, Brady, is stretch it out. You hold on to that end for Not my hand, Brady. Here, hold on right there. Don't let go. You take it. Ow! <laughs> Blow up, and I think I can do it. Can you catch my breath? Ma'am, it's a clam, okay? Hey, what are these? 
there you go. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I saw this on TV last night. The Amazing. The Incredible. Hi, Master. Woo! You know what? I've been doing this for about 10 years. I finally figured out the physical property that makes a ballet work. You know what makes a ballet work? Well, you go like this. You gotta stretch it out a little bit. Actually, let me get a fresh one. Let me get a fresh one. And I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. We'll use this white one. All right. Now, stretch it out a little bit. Yes, I'm gonna back over here so you can see. Now, if you look in the very back that holds the light, let me hold it up to strike. Can you see? Uh, look up towards the top. Can you see that? Air! <laughs> That wasn't funny, was it? All right. Now, if we blow it up just like that, you are going to get your very own toy. It's not going to be an animal. Let me see if I can do this just right. Now, who wants to see another animal? Do you want? What are you putting your hands over your ears for? It's not going to pop. Oh, seriously. It's guaranteed to just pop once. Oh! You know what made that pop, don't you? Bad breath. That's what it was. Bad breath. Actually, I feel what I'm going to do. That's not going to work, so I'm going to give you something else to work with this. Now, whenever you're out in the jungle or out in the wild forest, you need to make sure you can protect yourself, okay? So. Sorry about that. You're going to need something just like this. You're going to need to be able to protect yourself, so you will need your very own lightsaber. All right, here you go. Go for the new battle. Give him a round of applause. Thank you, sir. All right, there we go. Let's get that down right there. All right. Who's ready for another animal? You want to see another animal? Yeah. Right. I just call it a yeah. corn snake. It's made of an animal. Oh, how about this? How about this? How about an animal from Africa? Do you want to see an animal from Africa? Yeah. All right. Now, when I bring this animal out, I need you to be very quiet. Because this animal does get a little nervous and upset if we get too loud, okay? So everybody, shh, real quiet. Hands are lapped, back straight, listeners on. Catch a bubble, go. All right, y'all ready? Bring in the elephant, guys. Ma'am, ma'am, there's no elephant coming. I saw you looking up there and said, where's that elephant at? Actually, this isn't even it from Africa. It's actually from Central and South America. It is a baby, so I do need you to be quiet. In this case, quiet means silent. Now, its name is TikTok. Everybody say, TikTok. Come out and eat it. I mean, come out and see us. Come out and see us. All right. Now, TikTok is one of my favorites. As a matter of fact, this animal also used to be one of the crocodile hunter's favorite animals when he was still alive. Now, TikTok comes from Central and South America. TikTok is about two years old. I have brought one of these before. Here is TikTok. All right. Let's be real quiet for TikTok. Now, you notice that TikTok has his mouth tape closed. That's because earlier during the shows when I brought him out, he started singing. It, I mean, he is the worst. You think he sings? As he's looking at it, he sings. Now, actually, he does bite, okay? That's why I've got his mouth tape closed. If I were to take that tape off his mouth and put him in the floor, go ahead, let me just show you what would happen. Now, now he would bite. Now, boys and girls, if you think you know what he is, quietly raise your hand if you think you know what he is. Yes, sir, what do you think he is? He is a caiman, that's exactly what he is. He's not an alligator, he's not a crocodile, he's a caiman. And caimans are members of the crocodilian family. However, they are the smallest of the crocodilians. But boys and girls, don't let that fool you. You see, when he's full grown, this particular species can get six to eight feet long. So he can get big. Now, he sees with his eyes, he smells and breathes through his nostrils. Does he have ears? Sure he does. He has a hole behind each eye. He's got a hole right here. He's also got a hole right here, and that's his ears. And if you look real close, he has got a mouthful of teeth. Now, boys and girls, show me your teeth. Let me see your teeth. Now, you all have a lot of teeth. Now, some of you have a few more teeth than the others, but guess what? He's got more than twice as many teeth as you do. He's got 74 to 78 teeth. They're all razor sharp. Whenever he bites, he bites hard. But he's very weak when he opens his mouth. If I were to take the tape off his mouth, he could, I could actually hold his mouth closed with just two fingers. If this were a 10-foot alligator, I could still hold his mouth closed with one hand. You see, they're very weak in opening their mouth, but they have lots of power when they close it. So that tells me that he probably has another weapon. What's his other weapon? His tail. You see, a crocodile, when he's full grown, his tail is so powerful, he can break the legs of a zebra with one sweep of his tail. But fortunately, they don't do that very often. Most of the time, they use that tail for swimming. You see, if you'll notice, it's flat on the sides. That helps him to move more efficiently through the water, and it acts like the rudder or the oar on a boat. Now, what else helps him swim in the water? 
It's me, that's right. Everybody hold your hands above your head. Spread your fingers apart. Now, do you have skin between your fingers? Yeah. No, if you did, you would have webbed hands just like his back feet are webbed, just like those ducks feet are webbed. You see, boys and girls, most animals that live inside an aquatic habitat, that's a habitat that has water, if those animals aren't fish, then they're probably going to have webbed feet. Now, how many of you guys like to go swimming? Does anybody like to go swimming? Who wears goggles when they swim? Does anybody wear goggles? Cool, hands down. Guess what? He wears goggles every time he gets in the water. Do you believe it? No, it's true. It's true. Everybody blink your eyes. Blink your eyes. Now, you're blinking your eyelids, and you have two eyelids on each eye. You have one on top and one on bottom. He actually has three eyelids on each eye. He has one on top, one on bottom, but he has a third, uh, uh, it's a membrane that's like an eyelid that goes side to side. That uh, eyelid is almost clear, so when he goes underwater, he can close it and it protects his eyes from the water. Now let's pretend he's in the water. Everybody be real quiet. Shh. Let's imagine it's real quiet in the jungle and he's in the water. Now, when they're in the water, there's only three parts of his body above the water. The tip of the nose so he can breathe, the top of the head and part of the neck where the eyes and ears are, and part of his back. Now they'll move so slow, there's hardly a ripple in the water. And it looks almost like a log floating down the river. And boys and girls, that's what he wants to look like. He wants to be camouflaged. He doesn't want to be seen. Now they may get close to shore. They may drop those back legs down. And a lot of times they'll wait for an animal to come down to the water to drink. Now if an animal comes down to the water to drink, if that animal puts its face in the water, boom! It jumps out and gets it. What do you guys jump for out there? Now, what do you think he likes to eat? What do you think he likes to eat? Meat, that's right. He eats anything he can catch. Fish, frogs, snakes, mice, rats, birds. When they're babies, they eat insects. When they're bigger, they eat bigger animals. Now, I tell you, you want to see him do something cool? Who wants to see him do something cool? All right, I need to know who the fastest young man out here is. Who's the fastest young man? All right, let's see here. We've got a lot of fast young men. Okay, let's see if we can get somebody out. Uh, let's see. Come on up here. Give this young man a big round of applause. Come on up here. Right. There you go. Stand right over here for me. And what is your name, Ty? Ty, yeah. You know how I knew that? Your tag? <laughs> yeah. Hey, now, now, Ty, so you're pretty quick, huh? You're pretty quick? You know why I asked you if you're quick? Because alligators and crocodiles, Ty, when they're full grown, they can outrun a person for 10 to 15 yards on flat ground. So Ty, let's say you're in gator country and you're being chased by a gator. What do you think you do? Take out your pistol and shoot it. Now where's your pistol, Ty? So I don't see that with you, huh? Hey, actually, some people say zigzag, okay? Zigzag is good because of the way their vision is, okay? But you gotta also remember that alligators and crocodiles bite side to side, okay? So Ty, let's say you zig and the gator zags. You know what happens? No foot, okay? Some people say climb a tree, and that's good if there's trees around. But I'm gonna give you some advice and tell you what to do. You wanna know what to do? Okay, Ty, it's very important, okay? If you're ever in gator country and you're being chased by an alligator, just remember this. You don't have to outrun the alligator. You just gotta outrun your buddies. <laughs> hey, you wanna see him do something cool now? All right, yeah, stand right there for me. All right, I'm gonna grab something, I'm gonna give it to you. Don't let him see this, okay? Don't let him see, okay. I don't want him to see that because that's like his favorite food, okay? Yeah, hold it over your back just like that. Hold it, put your hand right there, hold it like a cake. Now, face this direction. Okay, now, when I say go, Ty, what I want you to do is take off running across the stage that direction, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put him on the ground. He's gonna see that claw, think you're an animal. He's gonna try and chase you and jump on your back, okay? So be quick. Okay, let me take the tape off. Go! He's running right yourself, Ty! He's Get back over here, Ty. Get back over here. Get out of here. Come on, Ty. Ty says, this guy's lost his mind. Did you think I was crazy, Ty? You did? Okay. All right, Ty. Here's what I really want you to do. Turn around and face everybody. Put your hand on his back, okay? Touch his back and tell me if that's hard or soft. That's hard. That's because those are bony plates or scales that act like a suit of armor to protect him. That's why you always see alligators laying on their stomach and not laying on their back, okay? Because they don't have any of those bony plates on their sides of their belly. See, if they land on the back in the suntan, doo -doo -doo, you know what would happen? If another alligator attacked him, it could seriously injure or kill him. All right, hey, give him a big round of applause. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you guys are in for a treat today because we actually have somebody in the library, in this room, that is one of the foremost experts on crocodilian behavior. Now, last year, they were here and they said, 
you know, they talked to me a little while. I was impressed that they, they were here and I met them. They said they would do a demonstration for us today. Would y'all like to meet this person and have them come up here and do a demonstration for us? All right. I don't know where they went to. Where did they go to? Up there in the back. I see them. Uh, don't scoot out the door. I saw them scoot out the door. All right. Come on. Here we go. It's so good to see you here today. Come on out here. Give her a big round of applause. She's right here. Be careful to go down the stairs. I'm gonna let you go first. All right. I didn't know she was an expert in alligators, did you? All right. You want to be real careful getting up on the stairs. If you want to step around the stairs, just step up there. There you go. And what is your name, man? Robin. I couldn't remember from the last time we saw him. But anyway, Robin, come on over here. Now, Miss Robin is going to show us how to put an alligator or a crocodile to sleep, okay? Now, she told me earlier, she said, Safari Greg, the first thing you've got to remember is they've got to feel comfortable and relaxed, so you always start off with a kiss, okay? Now, you know, you know, you know, okay. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. Now, Robin, I'm going to turn him on his back. And boys and girls, I want you to be real quiet when we do this because we need, it needs, needs silence, so it'll work. I'm going to hold it like this. And what I want you to do is to take the palm of your hand, and you're just going to rub the belly, okay? So rub the belly back and forth, and watch what happens. It may take just a minute. Now watch this. Okay, stop. Okay, now just hold your hand above the belly. Okay, see how the tail's dropping down? When I tell you to, Robin, I want you to rub that direction, but don't do it yet. And boys and girls, kind of watch how he just kind of lays back and what he does when she does this. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Give her a round of applause. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Now, since this is the last time I'm using him today, I'm going to go ahead and take that tape off. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about his tape, okay? okay? It's all right. He's okay. Now, I'm going to take the tape off. I always use electrical tape because it doesn't pull his skin. Now, as I'm holding him, notice where I'm holding him. I'm holding his head way back here. And you're saying, well, how in the world can you hold his mouth closed from right there? Well, that's because his jaw is actually hinged back here. So I'm able to hold his mouth closed right here. Now, we'll see if he opens his mouth a little bit. All right. He's not opening it much. Uh, Miss Robin, come rub him a little bit more. Let's see if he opens his mouth. Now she, she said, I'm not coming back to this library. <laughs> now, he, like I said, he's got between 74 and 78 teeth. Now, whenever he loses a tooth, another one grows right back. Now, boys and girls, when you lose a tooth, does one grow back? Yeah. Well, it does one time. Once you lose your baby teeth, they'll grow back one time. But his teeth can grow back until he's about 70 years old. And usually when they grow back, they grow back a little bit bigger. But even after they lose all their teeth, his jaws are still powerful enough that he can kill whatever he wants to eat with just his jaws and no teeth, so he can still survive. Now everybody say, see you later, alligator. Yeah. All right. Whew. We're about to have to wrap this up, guys. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm pretty thirsty. Are y'all thirsty out there? Yeah. I'm pretty thirsty, and I need something to drink. And there's always one thing I like to drink whenever I do these shows. You know what I like to drink when I'm really hot and thirsty? I like water, but I also like... Root to the root beer. Who likes root beer? Raise your hands. Y'all want to learn how to do a trick with the root beer? All right, I'm going to teach you how to do a trick. Now, here's what you do. You get a bottle of root beer, you get a glass, and then you've got to get a, two cups to cover them up just like this so you can't see them. Now, I'm going to say root and toot root beer. You say yee-haw, and guess what's going to happen? They're going to change places. Here we go. Root and toot root beer. Yee-haw. You know what? The pit, or the root beer turned invisible, shot through the air, did three flips, landed over there. The glass jumped over here. Let me make sure it worked. Hold on. Oh, glass is there. Bottle's there. Isn't that awesome? Pretty good, huh? What do y'all think of that, huh? Do what? So, well, no, no, no. Because see, that's too easy. The hard part is switching them back. See, if I go root to the root beer. Yeah. Now look at this. Look at this. They change right back. Isn't that cool? Woo! What do y'all think of that trick? It, well, somebody said boo. Who said boo? Whoa, whoa. Why didn't you like the trick? Well, why didn't you tell me you wanted to see it? We'll, oh, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. Here we go. Everybody. Root to... Oh, whoa, whoa. You know what? I just realized why it didn't work. This only works in the dark. So if we could get that... Well, no, whoa. Don't turn the lights down. There's too many little kids in here. That'll be scary. Uh, oh, close your eyes. That'll make it dark. Okay, everybody, close your eyes. On the count of three, when I say root and toot and root beer, you say ye. I see some peeking out there. All right, close those eyes. Help me count. Here we go. One, two, three. Root and toot and root beer. Yeah! Look at this. Look at this. Root beer is jumping over the glass.
your eyes closed. Who kept their eyes closed? Raise your hands. All right, heads down. Well, listen, for those of you that kept your eyes closed, sorry, Greg's got to tell you the truth. I can't do it. Man, it doesn't really work. I mean, I've tried everything. I've covered them up. I've said the magic words, you know, yee-haw, that stuff. And guess what? They never do change places. No! Whoa! Well, give yourselves a round of applause. Isn't that awesome? All right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. You caught me. I do have to use an extra bowl, but that's only if one breaks. We can still do it again. Root and tune, root beer! Look at that. Seven places to go, though. Hold on a second. Look at that, guys. I'm sorry. Hey, we better have two extra bottles. Let's do this. Well, root and tune, root beer! Look at that. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay, there's still one extra bottle. Okay, that's okay. Ah, no. Okay, hold on. We got two to do this. Okay, uh, root and tune, root beer! Okay, I think it's gonna work this time, guys. I think it's gonna work. There we go. Ah, no! Okay, hold on a sec, guys. Hold on a sec. Let's get that bottle out of there. Get out of there, bottle. Okay, let's try this one trick more time. Root tune, root beer. Yeah. No, no, there's two glasses. Good to go now. Wait a second. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Let's get that back over there. Okay, here we go. Root tune, root beer. No! Yeah. Woo! I'm just glad there's not. No! Now this animal, let me get him out of the box here, is one of my favorites. He actually is with me at all my shows. And this last school year, boys and girls, I traveled almost 70,000 miles. I went coast to coast three times with my educational program. This animal was with me at every show. Now I don't know if you've seen anything like it before. It's one of my favorites. It's called a corn snake and its name is Snowflake. Now Snowflake, is that... You all see this one? Hold on, hold on, let me, let me get rid of this thing. Let me get rid of this thing. Guys, how about this? How about if we make it change colors? Do you want to see it change colors? Yeah. No, 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 no. How about if we make it get stripes like a zebra? Do you want to see it get stripes? Yeah. All right, here we go. On the count of three, say that magic word. Here we go. One, two, three. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Give yourselves a round of applause. You did it. Isn't that awesome? The white snake. The white snake now has white stripes. White stripes on the white snake. Thank you, man. You guys are a tough crowd. All right, maybe we didn't drop loud enough. A little louder. Here we go. One, two, three. Point at a few people. When I point at you, I want you to step up on the stage. Don't raise your hands. If you got your hands up, we're not going to pick you. But I do need a few people. How about uh, let's see here. How about this young man right here in the blue shirt? Come on down here. How about uh, this young lady right here? Do you want to help me out? Come on up here. Let's go over this side. Let's get. Uh, you want to help me out? She says no way. All right. <laughs> Come on up here. This young lady right here. Let's get. Uh, let's see the young man in the green shirt. Come on down here. Let's go over here. Right here, you want to help me out, dude? You, you want to help me out? You want to help me out? How about you, sir? Come on up on stage. How about the young lady on the very end up there? Come on down here, let's get one more of the young man with the white shirt. Give them all a big round of applause as they come down. All right. And as they make their way down here, let me tell you a few things about this animal. Now, this is not a corn snake, obviously. This is called a python. It's a Burmese python. It is a female. She's about 13 to 14 feet long. However, she's not anywhere near being full grown. She'll be over 20 feet long when she's full grown. You see, Burmese pythons are the third largest snakes in the world. Now, boys and girls, what I want you to do is I want you to stand real close together. Take about two steps backwards. There you go. All right. Now, I want you to hold your arms out in front of you. And I'm going to lay the snake in your arms. You're going to hold it in your elbow area, okay? Not in the hands, okay? I will hold the head. It's just a little bit closer together. All right. Very good. There we go. Lay that right there. Curl your arms up. Hold it. Go ahead and curl your arms up. There you go. Curl your arms up. 
Let's get a little close together, guys. A little close together. There you go. All right. Give them a round of applause. Awesome job. Okay. Now, this snake is pretty heavy. She's about to 70 to 80 pounds. However, she is light for her size. And the reason she's so light in weight is because she went on a weight loss program a month or two ago. She, no, no, I am serious. I'm serious. She lost almost 20 pounds in less than 24 hours. She laid over 30 eggs. Wow. So, hey, give her a round of applause. That's a lot of work laying 30 eggs, I guess. <laughs> Have you ever laid 30 eggs? Yeah. You, you, you don't want to, huh? Now. This snake is albino, and remember, albino animals don't have any dark colors or pigments in their skin. So instead of being a green, brown, and tan, this snake is white, yellow, and pink, with a pink being in the face. Now, an albino reptile could be white, pink, or yellow, or a combination of all three. Albino mammals will always be white with pink eyes. Now, she sees with her eyes, she smells with her tongue, she breathes through her nostrils, she feels vibrations, but she can also tell where everyone in here is by your body heat. You see, she's got six holes above her top lip. Those are called heat pits. They allow her to sense your body heat. Now, that's how she finds food. And speaking of food, do you know what her favorite food is? Yeah. Elementary school kids. Yeah. Actually, any small mammal she can catch. She likes rats or rats. Now, what is your name, sir? Hey, do you think she eats every day? No, Safari Greg, she doesn't eat every day. Does she eat every week? No, no. Safari Greg. Does she eat every month? Yes. Yes, Safari Greg. She eats every month. She'll eat about once every two to three weeks. And whenever she eats, she'll eat a two to three pound rabbit or maybe a couple large rats. Now, boys and girls, when they eat a large meal, if they're in good shape, they can actually go a year without eating as long as they've got water. Now, normally, you would have to travel all the way to Asia to find a Burmese python in the wild. But I say normally because we now have these snakes living wild in the United States. Not in Alabama, not in Texas where I'm from, not in Tennessee, but South Florida. You see, some people have been known to get these animals as pets. They don't realize how big they're going to get. They don't realize how long-lived they are. And some people will let them go. Well, if they let them go in this area, they couldn't survive the winters. It's too cold for them. But South Florida is a perfect habitat. Plenty of food, water, and cover, and the temperatures are, are perfect for it. Not only have they survived, but they've also reproduced. There are now so many Burmese pythons in the Everglades of Florida, they're afraid it's going to upset the ecosystem of South Florida. They're actually taking the place of other animals. However, this last year was a very cold winter for Florida, and a lot of them died, so hopefully that took care of part of the problem. Now, the moral of that story is this. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get a pet like a snake or a tortoise or a bird or some exotic, Make sure you do your homework. Make sure you know exactly what it takes to take care of the animal, how long they're going to live, what kind of housing requirements they need. If you can't take care of the animal in the way it needs to be taken care of, just go see the animal in a zoo or a wildlife exhibit where, it's, where they're better taken care of. But don't ever let an animal go in the wild. and Don't ever take an animal out of the wild to keep uh, in captivity. It's not fair to the animal. It's not fair to you. And also, in most of the cases, it's against the law. Now, have they done a great job up here? They've done a great job. Hey, you guys stay up here. You guys stay up here. I want you to stand in a straight line again. Stand in a straight line. Okay. I want you to step forward with your left foot. Step forward with your left foot. Your other left foot. There you go. There you go. You're on the left foot. Take your left hand. Point it in the air like this. Take your right hand. Put it on your hips. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Cheetah Girls. <laughs> Give me a round of applause. You guys did awesome. Give me a high five as I go down the line here. All right. Very good. Have you enjoyed yourselves, guys? Have you enjoyed yourselves? Give yourselves a big round of applause. You guys have been awesome. Y'all make your way off stage. Now, here's what we're going to do. I've been giving everybody a chance to touch the snake if they want to.